almost all saw future rate hikes as being appropriate, and some even wanted to hike by 25 basis points at the June meeting. We don't know how many some is. We know it's less than many, and it's more than a few. Uh, the reason they wanted to hike was because they saw the labor market as tight, and they saw few clear signs that inflation was returning to the 2% target. Most said, however, the Fed would benefit from taking a little more time, seeing uh, dealing with the high levels of uncertainty that were out there. Those uncertainties included the lagged effects of monetary policy, as well as tighter credit conditions from the banks and what kind of effect that would have on the economy. Almost all, almost all saw inflation risks to the upside. Inflation, they said, was unacceptably high and slowing less rapidly than expected. Um, and an interesting comment here in the minutes, some saw the effects of higher rates on housing bottoming out. In other words, they had already gotten as much tightening as they're going to get or easing in, uh, in the housing market, and it was already uh, had already bottomed out. We've seen that in some of the economic data. Some saw downside economic risk and upside risk to unemployment, so there is a dovish wing to the party there, to the, to the FOMC. Real GDP was seen as resilient but expected to slow. Um, and just a couple more here. Consumer spending was stronger than expected. Few, a few people were worried, though, in the committee that consumers are facing increasingly tighter budget constraints, including from less savings. The labor market was seen as very tight, but payrolls were expected to slow. Finally, tighter credit conditions from the banks were likely to weigh on economic activity. And in fact, the staff is still forecasting, that's the Fed staff, still forecasting a mild recession in the second half because of those tighter credit conditions. But in general, they see the effects of, as, as uncertain. And some even said, you know what? It ain't coming.